Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, work out percentages of amounts. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do it without a calculator and then I'm going to show you how to do it with a calculator. Okay, so if you want to skip on to find out how you do it with a calculator, that's fine. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the uh, non-calculator way. So my first example here, I've got 180 and whatever a percentage you're trying to find out, so 35, 57, 17.5, you can generally work out any percentage, well you can, if you have these ones here. So whenever you do a non-calculated uh, percentage lesson, you probably start with these ones here. So we're just going to do the same thing and start off by trying to find out 50%. So to find out 50%, it's really easy. All we do is we half the number. Okay, so half of 180 will obviously be 90. So 50% is 90. To find 25%, well we find 50%, and we half it again. So 50% was 90, so half of that would be 45. Or some people say, if you go back to the original 180, we half it and half it again, absolutely fine. Or you can just find 50% and half it. Both mean exactly the same thing. To find 10%, what we do is we divide by 10. So 180 divided by 10 will give us 18. To find 20%, well, we find 10% and double it, so times it by two. So in this case, I'll have 18 times uh, two, or 18 plus 18, whichever round you want to do it, and obviously you'll have 36. To find 5%, a couple of different ways you can do it. Uh, you can find 50% and divide it by 10. You can find 10% and half it. Entirely up to you. I'm just gonna go with 10% and half it, or half of 10%. So if 10% was 18, half of that, would be 9. And again, if you did it the other way and gone 50%, which is 90, divided by 10, 90 divided by 10 is 9. So either way, absolutely fine. And the final one here, to find 1%, we divide by 100. So 180 divided by 100, decimal point moves back twice, 1.8. Okay, so if you find these, you can use a mixture of these to help you find out uh, these percentages here. So for 35%, um, you could do 10% plus 10% plus 10% plus 5%, what was 5%? 9, there we go, uh, oh, sorry, plus 5%. So what do they all equal? Well, we worked out 10% was 18 plus 18 plus 18, and then we said 5% was 9. So add all those up, what do you get? You should have 63, okay? Next one here, 57%. Well, I'm going to use 50, I'm going to use a 5, and then two ones. So I got my 50% uh, plus a 5% plus a 1% and then plus another 1%. So let's see what that is. That would be 90 plus 9 and then plus 1.8 plus 1.8. And if you put it into a column or add it all up, you should have 102.6. Okay. And the last one here uh, used to be very common because obviously this used to be VAT. Um, not so uh, common now, but you still might be asked it. So this is how you do it. How I would do this one is I'd use 10% and I'd add 5% and then I would add 2.5%. Okay, so 10% is 9, sorry, don't lie there, 10% is 18, 5% is 9, and 2.5% is actually half of 5, so all I do is half the 9, and therefore add 4.5. So if you want 2.5%, find 5%, and then just half it. Or I think I did see some people get 25% and divide that by 10, so 45 divided by 10, 4.5. Either way, not a problem. I'm just going to make my 18 look a bit more 18-y. Okay, so 18 plus 9 plus 4.5, and then you should have 31.5. Okay, so that's the non-calculator way of doing it. Now, with a calculator, it's really easy. If you want to find 35%, we do 35, press shift, and on the left bracket there, you might see a little percentage in uh, yellow. Press that and you'll have 35%. So to find 35% of 180, you type in the 35% and we times 
180. And as you see, we get 63. I'll just do the same thing again for 57. So 57, shift, left bracket to get 57% times by 180, which is what we want to work out. And if you get a fraction, not a problem, press the SD button, convert it to a decimal, 102.6, lovely jubbly. And last one, 17.5% times by 180. And again, we got a fraction, SD at 31.5. So to find a percentage using these calculators is really handy. I do just want to make a quick note on how you do decimal multipliers. So decimal multipliers Okay, decimal multipliers are what uh, is, well, exactly what it is. It's a decimal that you multiply by 180 to find out 50% or 25% or whatever. Really easy. Whatever the percentage is, convert it to a decimal. So all to do that, all we do is divide by 100. So 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5. And in that way, that's going to be your multiplier. So to find out 50%, you can use your decimal multiplier, which is 0 0.5 times by 180, and you get the same answer, 90. Okay, the reason why uh, I'm talking about this is because sometimes in the exam, it will say which decimal multiplier will find 50% or 35% or 57%. So I'm just giving you a heads up now. This is what it's all about. So to find the decimal multiplier is 25%, again, just convert it to a decimal. So 0 0.25. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, careful with this one, 0 0.05, because remember we're dividing by 100, and 1%, again, 0 0.01. So again, just to check it for this one, 35%, convert it to a decimal, 0 0.35, and then I'll just prove it again, so 0 0.35, if you times that by your, uh, sorry, yeah, by your 180, again, you get the 63 Okay, so it's just another way of working the percentage, but they do sometimes ask you specific questions based on decimal multipliers. So it's really easy, whatever the percentage is, convert it to a decimal, and then you obviously times it by the amount, hence the name decimal multipliers. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Again, I'll go non-calculator and then check these ones on the calculator. Same thing then, so 50%, I'm going to half it, just like I did over here, to get £11. Pounds. To find 25%, I'm going to half it and half it again, or find 50%, which is 11, and then half of that. So half of 11 is £5.50. Whenever you're dealing with money, make sure you put two decimal places in, otherwise you will lose marks. 10%, I'm going to divide this by 10. So 22 divided by 10, £2.20. Notice again, I'm putting in my zero there because I'm dealing with money. Uh, 20%. Well, I found 10% and I'm going to double it. So that's £4.40. Again, notice that zero. 5%, well, I've got 10% is £2.20, so I'm going to half it to get £1.10. And finally, 1%, divide that by 100. So I'll have 0 0.22 or 22p. Okay, so they're my main ones. And I'm going to use these to help me find 15%, 76%, and 13%. So let's have a go with 15%. Nice and easy. Let's use a 10% and a 5%. So 10% we worked out was £2.20. And add the £1.10, which will give you £3.30. Okay. Next one here. I've got 76, so different ways you could break this one up. I'm going to go with a 50% plus a 25% and plus a 1%. So there are different ways. We're saying any combination of these will get you the answer. So 50%, we had 11. 25, we had £5.50. And 1%, we had 22p or 0 0.22. So add those together, you'll have 16.2. Seven two pounds. Sorry, what do that pounds? There we go. And then finally, thirteen percent. You could do fifteen percent and take away two one percent, I suppose. But probably let's keep it as adding, nice and easy. So ten percent plus a one percent plus a one percent plus a one percent. So let's do that. Ten was two pound twenty plus twenty two p plus 22p, plus 
22p and when you add them all together you should have £2.86 okay £2.86 so again if you want to do it on a calculator you can use a decimal multiplier so we're going to have uh, convert 15% to a decimal so you can have 0 0.15 uh, times by 22 oops I missed out from times there we go and of course that will be £3.30 or you could use 15% uh, times by 22 which of course again will give you the same answer so two different ways you can do it the decimal multiplier for 76% would be 0 0.76 times that by my 22 and again we'll see we get £16.72 pence, or 76% times by 22 and again 16.72 and the last one if you're still with me uh, 0 0.13 would be the decimal multiplier times that by the 22 we get two pounds 86 pence lovely or you could have done it using the percentage button which gets you the same answer okay guys so hopefully you've seen some ways to do it non-calculator and some ways to do it uh, with a calculator just bear in mind decimal multiplier all it means is convert it to a decimal and then that's what you times it by hopefully that helps cheers guys